Hello everyone and welcome to a new full completion summary episode for the new Spring 34. Hope you're safe and sound as this week you can get the 2003 V6 Clio for 50% and the IDR for 80% besides the usual wheel spins, some more common cars and the new 68 Firebird. All the details and time slots for each event and PR stunt are in the video description, while any tune can be found by my gamer tag. For any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord server. So let's get onto it and if you like and haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Horizon 4 and other car games content. This week we're starting yet again from 21%, thanks to Rivals 6% for completing a clean lap that means no exclamation mark next to your name at the end. And another 15 from completing a ranked adventure championship, which is unlocked on reaching level 3 adventure by playing the standard type. This can be done once per series and will apply to all 4 seasons, no matter the season they are completed in. Since we did them during summer, that's why we already have them. Next, an easy photo challenge for 3% train spotters, which requires you to take a picture of any of your cars with the viaduct. It can be found here. And all you need to do is snap a picture of it with your whatever car in it. Next, for 15%, this week's Forzaton, a British icon. I'll briefly go through it here, but for more details you can check the recommended video at the top. So you'll need the 65 Mini Cooper S, which is a barn find that can be found here. The auction house was already scalped like the GPUs in any store, and will probably come back for a much higher price. If you can't find one or you are missing the barn find, say you found and sold it, I'll try to give away for minimum buyout one of the few I currently have. For the second chapter, requires you to win two dirt racing series events. The difficulty doesn't matter, so you can lower it to new racer as long as you remember to bring it back up to at least highly skilled for the seasonal championships prizes. For a very quick completion, you can basically hop into some quick blueprints, sprint or circuits and will do, as long as they are dirt. Third chapter, win 2 road racing series events. Same strategy, standard or blueprints, any difficulty, go for the win and you're in chapter 4 in no time. Earn 75,000 skill score. If you have plenty of skill points to spare, go on and add in the perks as that will help you do it even faster. Even though less than 100,000 points are actually required, then go wherever and quickly gather them, for the 200 Forzaton points of this week, if you also own the Lake Lodge house. Regarding the Forzaton shop, if you don't already have it, now is the time, for the Hoonigan RS200, a must-have car. Missing the points? Go ahead and make use of that Lake Lodge house for double weekly, daily and hourly Fozaton rewards, as this is really worth it, and you have one week to get it. In the backstage, the Jeep got the win for last week. Well, this week we have a battle between the Impala and the Fury. Even though I usually pick classics, this time around I'll go with the Chevy just because it wasn't featured as many times as the Plymouth. For the Super 7, for the first 7 challenges successful completion, you can get some party costume for free. Time to team up for the trial, Fire Saga for the mini buggy in B700 minis only. Guess the servers had something else planned for our convoy. But eventually, all of us made it in. So, for this one, you'll be set no matter what mini you'll pick, as long as it is upgraded, has decent acceleration, and is not a buggy. Since I already needed it for the Fozaton, I used the same 65 mini, downgraded a bit, but still great overall, besides the top speed. Anyway, the only place where you'd actually require the speed is the Edinburgh 
GP Championship would be the third race, which has a straight over the highway. Other than that, a really easy weekly trial. So easy that you can go for an Italian job-like ending photo with your team. Still, for this as well as any other challenging event, we shall see each other on Saturday at around 8pm GMT plus 3 for the weekly open lobby livestream of Spring 34. Next, Showcase Remix, Commuter Blues. As long as you don't hit anything to come to a full stop, you shouldn't have any issues in winning this. The train has some nitro here and there, but will let you win by the end. Up next, Spring Games, 800 Classic Muscle for the Charger Daytona, and another 6%. Since you no longer have to win the games to get the reward, it doesn't really matter what you pick. As long as the servers actually let you in. After about 20 minutes, the time to actually play this has arrived for a couple of seconds that is. I can't blame the only remaining rival for leaving. He did help us even though he would have won the reward even if he'd have stayed in. After some more waiting of course. With that out of the way you would have unlocked the 50% spring reward. Moving on this week's PR stunts for about 6% each. Roman Ruins, Danger Sign, 557.7 feet or 170 meters. I used my PR Jump Stuned El Camino, a car that I've lately used for any jump. It will easily clear this on the first try, but all in all you can use whatever car as long as it's slightly fast and preferably with soft suspension and rebound, to help with the handling of all those bumps to the ramp. Princess Street Speed Trap, 237 miles per hour or 381.4 kilometers. Not the easiest, but there are plenty of cars. Quite sure any of my M68 Speed Trap video cars can do this, starting with the rather cheap Auto Show Aventador. Depending on the car, you might need to start from further away, just like we did with the V12 Aston one month ago, for the It's a Trap chapter of the Proceed at a High Velocity Forzaton when it is safe to do so. X-Class is almost a must, but if you have the King Cobra DLC, well, it's an absolute walk in the park. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Right. And most probably the same goes for other cars like the cheap auction house Mustler, the Backstage 599XX Evo, Yeskos, and other Koenigseggs or hypercars. Oldware Speed Zone, 154 miles per hour or 247.8 kilometers. Only using the Auto Show back mono this time around, but there are many cars that can do it. Get a car with decent speed and good downforce and you're good to go. Radical, KTM GT4, Senna and many more. Maybe even the ones from my Winter Toft Speed Zone episode. You have arrived at your destination. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Now, the three weekly championships against at least highly skilled drive avatars to get all the rewards after some more disconnects. Someone go until turn 10, they didn't fix it. Anyway, we are doing them against Pro and Unbeatable for the extra effort fun. Greatest Hits 800 Classic Racers for the Porsche 916. Actually, 906. There are so many very expensive cars in this category, and then there's the Lotus Cortina. Rusty, recently picked from Chernobyl, fitted with some racing engine and tires and off it goes. 
really cheap and decent card to play with, especially for newer players, whom are missing the credits. Of course, Wolf's Alpha is a lot faster, but you might run into a credit for many years if you're new and want it too much. And again, plenty of time to play around. Completing one of the three championships gets you over 80% for the IDR. Next, GT found home S1 Super GT cars for the Alien Morph suit, just like in Series 25, I think. By this point, the servers went crazy again, no longer allowing everyone from the convoy in. Since this could go even worse, we decided to go for it. Portofino vs my DB. Wolf's car was way better on the brakes, while mine I'd say a bit faster on the straights. I kinda enjoy the street scene races, especially thanks to the traffic and the night, thus the added risks to the race, just like in the old underground games. A couple of near heart attack moments here and there keep the spark alive. And lastly we have the Phoenix from the Ashes Championship. P700 classic muscle for the new 68 Firebird. Again, only two from the convoy made it through, unfortunately. Since I didn't get the chance to use the CR1 during the games, here it is. Sharing the same car specs. Kinda slippery since it rained during every single race, but guess that's how British springs are. All in all, quite easy, the drive avatars won't put much pressure on you, especially if you don't run them on Pro or Unbeatable. I would recommend to fit that 4x4 to slightly overcome the wet roads of this event. And that kinda does it with the championships too. Thanks to the whole team for participating, as well as for the offer and effort put up tonight, despite the awful servers. So, already to at least 93%. For the daily challenges, first, one awesome wreckage skill, wreck some more stuff for the multiplier. Second, one clean racing skill, did it so many times already, all you need to do is race without collision for a little while. Third, complete a road circuit event, win or lose but make sure it is a road type. Fourth, three trading paint skills, touch traffic vehicles to earn this. Fifth, one speed skill. Drive faster than the speed limit over the highway and you should get it. Sixth, two great speed skills. Go even faster for this multiplier to pop. And seventh, to start or better in any speed zone. If you are having trouble, forest green is the easiest around for three stars. And that does it for another 100% completion, this time for the new Series 34 Spring. Hope you've enjoyed the new episode. For any questions or discussions, feel free to use the comment section below or the Discord server. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Forza Weekly content. For any additional details regarding the events, they are also available in the video description. The following week we'll have the Summer 35 for some returning cars, besides the new addition, the Jeep Gladiator. From winning against at least highly skilled drive avatars, the Are You Not Entertained Championship. But till then, thanks for watching and see you again during the Open Lobby livestream on Saturday, 8pm GMT plus 3, for the trial and other Spring 24 events. And also, Happy Easter for those that celebrate it this weekend.